There's a growing number of Americans who believe 9-11 may have been an inside job. 9-11 truthers, as they're known, attended a two-day conference in hopes of bringing awareness to their cause. RT's Marina Portnaya joins us from our New York studio. Marina, talk to me a little bit about this conference. Well, Christine, essentially it is uh, it was a, a conference put together to raise awareness and for people that have questions about the September 11th attacks to address those questions, share information. The consensus among all those that attended is that the mainstream media has essentially ignored any questions uh, for about eight and a half years. But ironically, as this conference got underway, one mainstream news channel did show up. Take a look. Some people wear their emotions on their sleeve. And then there's Frank Agamemnon, who literally wraps himself in one fundamental belief. Our government has lied to us about the events of 9-11. And if the truth ever came out about it, maybe the wars would stop mm -hmm. because it was an event that led us to war. Agamemnon is in Pennsylvania, attending a two-day conference called Treason in America. Hundreds of people traveled from across the country seeking answers from whistleblowers, military officials, journalists, and engineers, all of whom support a new 9 11 investigation. Yeah, I mean, truth and facts, I don't believe what anybody else says now. I don't believe mainstream I've learned that there's uh, more, more people just like me out here that, that want to want to know the, the truth about what's going on in our country. The 9-11 truth movement is nothing new, but here's what is. 24 hours before the event kicks off, a civil rights firm called Southern Poverty Law Center releases a report on U.S. hate groups. On the list, the largest 9-11 truth organization, We Are Change. People like myself that want truth now on so many levels. FBI whistleblower Colleen Rowley went public in 2002, accusing her bosses of failing to act on information pre-9-11. And again, I said the, the, the they're using fear uh, for purposes of fear, hate, greed, false pride, and blind loyalty, I think are the main five categories of ways to control large masses of people. 48 hours before the conference, John Bendel, an alleged 9-11 truther, opens gunfire near the Pentagon. ABC News turns its attention to truthers, interviewing supporters, including filmmakers, behind the Loose Change documentaries. What do you think about the fact that someone like John Patrick Bendel shares some of these beliefs, tries to walk into the Pentagon loaded with ammunition and is shot like that. Well, first of all, we don't know exactly what he believed. We know that the news said that he might have been a truther, but that's it. That's all we know. I don't support violence. And the whole reason they were here was because of the Pentagon shooting. And, you know, I think it's funny that, you know, we screamed from the rooftops for years about needing justice and accountability, and we never get coverage. But the second someone decides to pick up a gun and go into the Pentagon metro station, all of a sudden we're press -worthy. I urge you to listen to some of the speakers that have come in here. And if you want to talk about some technical information, Richard Gage is going to be up there soon. 15-story section driving the rest of the building down. All Richard Gage is the founder of Architects and Engineers for 9 11 truth. More than 1,100 professionals who say it was not planes that caused three buildings to collapse at the World Trade Center. These are 1,100 who have staked their reputations and their licenses on the line based on this evidence for explosive controlled demolition of all three skyscrapers. We have straight down symmetrical collapse. ABC News did not interview Mr. Gage. Many here no longer rely on politicians to bring transparency. Instead, Agamemnon says the power for truth is up to the people. Take another look at 9-11. You know, flat out, you've been lied to. So if you've been lied to, why not try to find out what the truth is? And then you can point the finger maybe and find out who really did 9-11. Marina, let's talk about that exchange between that ABC News correspondent and the filmmakers. It looked a little tense. It was tense indeed. The filmmakers uh, of the 9-11 uh, Loose Change documentaries were uh, pretty much offended, they told me, uh, by the questions that the ABC news correspondent was posing. He said that, they told me that, you know, that their documentaries have been out for, for nearly five years, and yet a few days after uh, an alleged 9-11 truther, you know, opens fire near the Pentagon, 
ABC News is interested in in speaking with them and they told me that based on his questions the way they were posing he was posing them that he was trying to equate the 9-11 truth movement with uh, with essentially you know a, a radical a penta, you know a shooter or somebody who may not be mentally stable try to discredit uh, the movement but what what these uh, young guys actually said to the correspondent was why don't you go interview uh, the family members here that want a new investigation the engineers the FBI whistleblowers they pointed out to him that the 9-11 Commission didn't have an engineer on it did not have a, a physicist on it no family member no first responder uh, they, they gave him a list of, of grievances that they had but uh, they did not think that the the correspondent was listening to them um, I did ask the ABC correspondent if I could interview him on camera, but he declined. And you talk about um, these architects and engineers. Now, their belief is that the official story is very hard to buy, you know, based on their profession, their expertise in terms of how the towers could have actually fell. Talk a little bit about more specifically what they had to say. Yeah, it, it's unbelievable. The number now is is above 1,100 of of professionals, either architects or engineers, that have come out and said they do not believe that the twin towers and World Trade Center Seven were destroyed uh, by uh, the fires or by planes hitting the buildings. Now, WTC-7 was not even hit by a plane. What these professionals say on record is that it was uh, explosives that, uh, that brought those buildings down. They believe it was a controlled demolition. And they believe that they have enough proof, uh, enough factual proof to go on record. And that's why they have come out and asked Congress to have a, a subpoena-powered investigation, a new 9-11 investigation, uh, so they can bring their proof, they say, uh, out into the open. And so they are just uh, the latest uh, numbers of people that are asking for a new 9-11 investigation. We've been hearing about it for years and years, but to this point, it doesn't seem like uh, those, those requests are being are being answered. And I think that's a good point, Marina. I mean, these people all got together. Certainly, we've seen this movement picking up steam on the internet. They all got together for this conference. What happens now? The conference is over. What's next? Well, I think they're just, from what the people I spoke with, they said they're just going to try to continue uh, speaking to people. Uh, those that maybe are not aware of the information, li like the man that we saw in my report, who, whose car is completely covered in, in stickers that say 9-11 was inside job. He says he drives around and he hands out uh, DVDs, he hands out, uh, you know, some books, some, any kind of information to anybody who's willing to listen to it. And I have to say that I was at this conference and uh, I thought, you know, it's, you know, it's the choir preaching to the choir, but I did run into some people who who are just interested in finding out this information and they are new to it. And uh, especially when they heard about these architects and engineers, it sort of rang some bells for some people and, and they traveled from, from, you know, a bunch of different states to try to find out what's happening. There's, a, there's what I just want to say one last thing. What I found was underscored in this whole conference is that um, the majority of people there uh, do not trust the information that they're getting. And it's sad in a way, it's good that they're trying to find their own information, but there is such a level of distrust from the media, from their elected officials, that they're now going to conferences to try to educate one another. All right, Marina Portnaya joining us live from our New York studio.